says the industry is a growing part of any savvy investment portfolio. She joins us now from our Midtown Manhattan Bureau to tell us more. Lee, welcome. Nice to have you here. It's nice to be here. Tell me what you think is behind the popularity of the funds, uh, especially since there is such a high minimum investment, anywhere from a half a million to a million dollars. Um, hedge funds are not a new phenomenon. They've actually been around since the 50s. The um, average hedge fund has had a, um, a very steady performance, unlike a lot of the um, misunderstanding um, and reporting that hedge funds are extremely volatile. The average hedge fund is actually not very volatile. The hedge they, funds they tend to be, they try to be, a number of them try to be market neutral. That's right. There are over 20 hedge fund styles. And I think one of the things that, um, you know, you always go for the, um, information that's most available and the big macro managers run by Soros and uh, Julian Robertson and those types have had a lot of volatility but those are actually the riskiest of hedge funds with the highest volatility they've also had the highest historical returns what's happened now is that the general population is, is becoming more educated and hedge funds becoming more mainstream and there is a discernment about hedge funds much like 20 years ago there were mutual funds were all clumped together but today the discerning investor understands that there are many types of, of, of mutual funds and there are different percentages of his capital that he should put in various um, mutual fund styles. The same goes for hedge funds today, that mm -hmm. the, the riskier ones are the ones that we suggest that one has less capital in or um, the ones that one has a longer time horizon for your um, investment capital. Interesting that, uh, also that a number of institutions and states are considering diversifying by considering a hedge fund. Well, I don't think that that's so, um, you know, abnormal. The, the average board of a, a, you know, major foundation such as Harvard or, or Duke are, are certainly major participants in hedge funds, but the reason is because the biggest donors to these organizations are hedge fund investors themselves. And mm -hmm. it does tend to happen that your wealthiest uh, sometimes tend to not just be the savviest, but be the ones that get the best information the quickest. So your board members are the ones that are encouraging um, you know, ownership of hedge funds because they really do understand that the average hedge fund in 1990 and in 1994 actually was up for the year. In 94, the macro managers, the average manager was down 15%, but that was not, um, you know, just as we were talking about before, it was not all hedge funds. The, the average guy, though, really can't play in the hedge fund game, can they, unless they buy a fund of funds? Well, um, it, even in the fund of fund arena, the average um, investor by law, um, if it's in a limited partnership format, which is an unregistered vehicle, must be an accredited investor. An accredited investor has to have a liquid net worth of a million or $250,000 of income. So this is a cream of the crop investment. It in is essence. the cream of the crop investment. Now in terms of what you see going forward, do you anticipate that the flow of money that we've seen and that some say the frothiness that might be developing in hedge fund investment, do you see that continuing? Well, you know, I wouldn't agree that it's frothy. Um, in 1994, there was a dramatic withdrawal from the hedge fund industry. Our statistics, um, we um, show that in 1994, the height of the hedge fund industry was $120 billion. We saw it go all the way down to $80 billion with withdrawals, but once again, the withdrawals were mainly from these macro funds that tend to um, almost have 30% of the capital in the industry at that time anyway. Um, but we are seeing a steady inflow into hedge funds, but it's in these um, you know, more conservative styles. And as a matter of fact, into the styles that 20 years ago, the um, large macro managers used the style that is the most popular today. Um, as their businesses matured and they added multiple strategies and became very large, they started betting rather than hedging. Very interesting. Lee Hennessy, thanks so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Lee Hennessy has been our guest. She runs the Hennessy Hedge Fund Advisory Group. She joined us from our Midtown Bureau.